Councils across the UK uh, should be checking homes for potentially dangerous concrete known as RAAC. This is according to the Institute of Structural Engineers. Their plea follows the discovery of the highly aerated concrete in hundreds of homes in Aberdeen, with residents having to move or fund expensive repairs. Well, let's go live to Aberdeen. Juliet Dunlop is there for us this morning. Juliet, this is this aerated concrete is cheaper, it's got bubbles in it, it's lightweight. It's the thing that caused all that crumbling schools scandal across um, England recently. And now where you are, they're talking about homes crumbling. Yeah, morning, Van Buur. That's absolutely right. And people in this part of Aberdeen, they really are still coming to terms with the news that their homes contain rag. Uh, as you can imagine, it's caused a great deal of upset learning that technically the place you live is no longer safe to live in. It does mean, yes, hundreds of council tenants will need to be rehomed, while homeowners, well, they are in an incredibly difficult position and many of them say they feel they have been abandoned. They are not the only ones, however, in this position. And yesterday, well, this same issue, it was raised at Prime Minister's questions in the House of Commons. And according to experts, well, the reality is, in all likelihood, many more homes up and down the country may well have the same problem with this type of unsafe concrete. They just don't know it yet. It may look perfect, but the ceiling in Amy's home is at serious risk of collapse. It's one of 500 in Aberdeen riddled with rack. The crumbling concrete is in the roof, and as a homeowner, she's been told she'll need to pay thousands of pounds to make the former council property safe. I have no idea what's happening next, no idea where to go. We're being told that there will, a decision will be made within six months but we're also being told that we should potentially be moving out of our properties as soon as possible. A few streets away, Hayley has already started packing. As a council tenant, she'll be rehomed, along with 300 other households. But she doesn't know where or when. It's absolutely heartbreaking. Do you know what? It has had an effect on a lot of people. This was supposed to be most people's forever homes, and it's all been shattered. Well, no one from Aberdeen City Council was available for an interview, but in an earlier statement it said it was exploring options for the long-term viability of the site, which include remedial works or demolition. While the focus has been on public buildings containing the same type of cheap, outdated concrete, there are fears more homes, council and private, could have similar problems. It's inevitable that there are more buildings constructed with rack. We know of rack in hospitals. We know of rack in um, our schools. Um, but rack could have been used anywhere where it was considered a suitable material. In the meantime, for Amy, Haley, and many others, the place where they should feel secure feels far from that. Juliet Dunlop, Good Morning Britain.